Did you hear about the snake who worked for the government? He was a civil serpent. <laughs> What do you call a serpent that tells on you? A tattlesnake. <laughs> the serpent I own refuses to eat Indian flatbread unless it is accompanied by a bread roll. My anaconda don't want naan unless you got buns hun. What do you call a snake that's exactly 3.14 meters long? A python. <laughs> My girlfriend owns a bit of a golden Nile serpent. She has a nice piece of asp. <laughs> What's worse than a box that does contain venomous snakes? A box that should contain venomous snakes. My friend is terrified snakes. I asked him if he'd be less afraid of them if they evolved to grow legs. He said no, regardless of the serpent's stances. <laughs> a snake walked into a bar. The bartender said, "How'd you do that?" <laughs> I gave my pet snake some glasses. Now he's a sea serpent. Why are snakes and fish always measured using the metric system? Because they don't have feet. <laughs> What do you call a reptilian butler? A serpent. <laughs> I was chased by a small snake. I'm a little rattled. I woke up my pet snake, laid him out on the floor and told him a dad joke. He recoiled. <laughs> Why is weighing snakes so easy? Because they come with their own scales. <laughs> I've just finished writing a book on snakes. It would have been much easier if I'd just written it on paper. How can you tell when a snake is mad? It has a hissy fit. <laughs> What snake is the best at math? The adder. <laughs> I'm Bob Jeffy, and that's the slithery jokes for National Serpent Day. We're on a mission to spread the laughs and groans far and wide, so please share these jokes with your family. Thank you. Hello everyone. Did you know that you can join the hundreds of listeners who have submitted their own dad jokes through my voicemail? Please spread the laughs and groans and submit your own dad joke to our voicemail with the best ones to be included in special fan episodes. Just leave your name, the city and state you live in, and your best dad joke. Call 9783931076. I'll repeat that number. It's 9783931076. Or check the show notes page for the number. I look forward to hearing from you. The Daily Dad Jokes podcast is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for social media links and joke credits. Hi there, I'm Lorelai Stewart, friend of Bob's. Here are some random shower thoughts to contemplate throughout today. Vampires keep getting into relationships with mortals because they know they'll eventually get their inheritance, which is also how all vampires eventually become wealthy. The longer it takes one to figure out what they want to be when they grow up, the more things they are likely to actually become along the way. You can't be socially awkward if you don't enter social situations. Somebody somewhere accidentally has you in the background of their photo. The biggest compliment you can give a painting is that it looks like a photograph, and that the biggest compliment you can give a photographer is that it looks like a painting. If you would like to hear more of these, please consider listening to our Daily Shower Thoughts podcast hosted by Bob Jeffy and myself. Just search for Daily Shower Thoughts in your podcast app. Thank you for your time. <laughs>